Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, and we are at chapter 12 today, verses 4 to 7, as we're continuing through following the teachings and the experience of Jesus in the Gospels. Here we go. And I say to you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I will show you whom you should fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has power to cast into hell. Yes, I say to you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two copper coins, and not one of them is forgotten before God? But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore, for you are of more value than many sparrows. So there are, is a lot of fear going around in our world these days, isn't there? And what we see is continuous fear from governments and, and the UN and different World Health Organization. And there's fear, 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 fear on every side. Fear, and when we have elections, instead of putting out a positive line, usually they put out a negative line. Be afraid of the my of my opponent, this other candidate, because you know he's a bad person. He'll do these bad things. Fear, fear, fear. Uh, you better get this shot because otherwise, fear, 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 fear. Jesus. How many times in the Bible does Jesus tell us, "Fear not, fear not"? And what do we have here? We have a teaching. Be careful who you're afraid of. That's what Jesus is saying here. Be careful who you're afraid of. Now, there's different kinds of fear, and there's a certain kind of a godly reverence or respect. Who should we have that for? The God of heaven. He can end our life or extend our life. He has that power, and he, he doesn't want any to perish. He wants all to come to repentance, says the Bible. So we know he is for us. He's not against us, but he's for us, and he wants good for us. So God does not try to make us fear, but we certainly owe him the kind of reverence and respect and duty because he is God. And yes, as far as, you know, that kind of trembling kind of fear, even that, he can end my life, he can end my eternal life. I don't have it, he can give me a gift for of having it. Jesus can end your existence. It's only from the God of heaven that we can receive the gift of eternal life. And so he's somebody to be respected, he's somebody to be, in a sense, feared. Definitely so. So that's the right thing. It's like, you know, the kid, the kid that's sassing off to his dad. His dad bought him a drone, and uh, he starts sassing back to his dad. Well, guess what? If you sass back to your dad, maybe you won't get to use your drone anymore. See? Be careful about the guy who can take away your drone. So <laughs> Jesus is the one that can take away from us so many of the gifts that he has so graciously given to us. Let's seek him there we'll find the good things. We're not going into it here, but of course, when we look at this idea of hell and the forever burning hell and all that, the Bible actually teaches that uh, when a person is chooses to reject God, that person will be lost and that person will be burned up at the end, but they're not gonna continue burning forever and be tortured forever. That person will cease to exist. It's not our study today. We'll do that another time. We'll, we'll plow into that and really show you from the scriptures how all these different words for hell, Sheol, and, and so on, how all that all works. That's not our study today. But anyway, for now, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for having power to give us life. We just pray that we will not be afraid of humans, but instead that we will be, be giving you the godly fear, uh, giving you the reverence that is due you as our creator, as our maker. Certainly you deserve all of our praise and our close attention because of that. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers today that we may honor you and no other gods before you. This we ask in Jesus' name, amen. All right, friends, the Lord is on his throne and he, he alone is worthy of your worship. May you and I praise him and be blessed this day.